Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. Um, I have decided to do a short little video today. Um, this will be the third one posted on my channel. And um, yesterday I posted a very long one. <laughs> so today I'm going to try and be a lot shorter. And I thought for this little video, I would just decorate a coffee dyed paper. So I think two days ago or so, well, I do those often anyways, I just took um, normal photocopy paper and put some coffee on it and cooked it in the oven at I think 200 for a few minutes until I can see that it's dry. And now I'm thinking we should just decorate it because these are very good to put in journals. Um, I love the sound. Very different from when it's just like a, a photocopy paper that has not been um, coffee stained. And I, oh, I dropped a little drop of water there, it doesn't matter. And um, yeah, I thought this would be nice to just try and come up with different ways we can decorate this. So let me just have a sip of water. Sorry about that, I just realized I was <clears throat> really dry, my, my throat was dry. So I thought, what if we played with um, stamps and maybe even inks and let's see where this takes us. Actually, you know what? Right from the, the start, I am seeing this. It's, um, um, I, well, voyant though. I forgot the name of this. <laughs> I only have the French name, which is Pochoir. Um, wow, stencil. Oh, wow, okay, stencil. <laughs> what if we put a stencil, and of course, you know that you could, you know, just paint maybe or use a marker. I'm thinking why not use the uh, Distress from Ranger. How about we try that? Let's see. I'm sure it'll look nice. It has to. Um, do I do the whole tree? Okay, yeah, why not? Okay, here we go. Uh, hmm, I might have to... Oh, there we go. Hold on. Look at this. I really have to hold it tight though because if it moves, obviously the pattern will not be very precise. So let me make sure I'm holding tightly. The only thing, and you kind of have to press hard or move, I guess, because if you just go like this, obviously it's not enough. So you kind of have to, well, you see what I'm doing, right? So, let me see. You kind of have to wiggle it and press and maybe on the side. Oh, okay, hold on. There you go. On the side of my... No, I don't know. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever it takes, just do it. There you go. I can't wait to see what it looked like. I think it'll look nice, actually. Maybe there would have been a an easier way, like with just um, a little... Um, oh wow, I have trouble with my words today. I apologize for that. A little sponge and some maybe acrylic paints um, or ink on a sponge would have been a little better because these are the little pad, the little inking pads, so they're not necessarily super thick. So, you know, but I'm thinking any kind of sponge would have worked marvelously as well. So, let me see. Oh, this flower looks a little light. Let me go over it again. You know, this is just me trying something. You know, it works good, it doesn't. We just go to the next idea. Okay, let's see what this looks like. <gasps> Ooh, I don't know about you, but I love it. I love that it's in the same, you know, coffee, 
shape. Oh, sorry. You know what? That's my dryer telling me that my clothes is dry. <laughs> and it wants to make sure I know. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> sorry about that. And uh, no, it won't be edited because I'm not cutting my video because of the dryer. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. I really like it. I love it. Okay. Well, that was a success. I'll have to clean this later. Okay. What else could we try? Let's turn this page around. And what if we stamp? Uh, I have done this before on another type of paper. Let me see if I can... I've tried all kinds of things. Of course, I want to try and find one. I'm not going to, am I? No? Okay. Well, they're probably in my journals, but it's okay. You know what? I'll just, instead of just talking... Oh, here we are. Okay, that's a tiny example uh, because it's a tiny page. <laughs> I stamped, and I also put some... I know... Oh, yeah, you can see it, I think. Gold uh, watercolor that I made some splatters with and yeah okay yes dryer I know my clothes is dry thank you goodness gracious okay so here it is I think this would be lovely and you know what I don't know if you like me but I have many stamps and I haven't played with them very much and recently while I was trying to enhance those papers that I have this is just a paper from a roll that I have and I use it also in my journals. And I didn't want to just stick this in and then stick one of these in because they're pretty much in the same tone and I wanted to liven them up. And therefore, I uh, I looked at my stamps and could you imagine I just found that I had this stamp. I mean, look at it. It's a butterfly with writing behind it. It's lovely. So I'm just so happy I found it. So I will use that right now. Um, I would try and tell you where I found the stamp, but to be honest, um, at Christmas I had presents and these stamps were in it. So I am not sure where they came from. I'm thinking Amazon. I'm not 100% certain. There'll be a cut in the video for a second. I need to pause. I'll be right back.